So today we're going to be talking about lens compression and how it works. So the idea is that when you use a telephoto lens, your background is going to look super buttery and super compressed and extra bokeh. Who doesn't like extra bokeh? Okay, bokeh? Bokeh. So anyways, before I get started, I pulled three examples of photos off on Splash. And in the first photo, you're going to see that there's a guy standing and then there's some trees in the background. This looks like it was taken on something like a 200 mil where the background is nice and pancaked on behind the subject and you don't really see much else. It's kind of all layered in on the same plane. Second example, we have a few more planes where you have trees and more trees, and you can see there's a division between them all and there's more depth to the image, but this was also taken on a longer lens because you can see that it's not a continuous flow. There's kind of layers to it. You know, you got your first layer of trees and your second and your third and blah, 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 blah. And the last picture, we have a girl standing in some kind of street. You see buildings behind it. You see a lot of things going on in the background. You can see that there's a lot of space and there's no pancake like effect. So you can tell that this is taken on probably like a 20 mil or 24 mil or 16 mil. I don't know what it's taken on, but you get the point. It's a wide lens. So now to explain how lens compression kind of works and the idea behind it all. So the idea is that when you use a telephoto lens, your background is gonna be more compressed and you cannot do that with a lens like a 16, 35 millimeter. Well, let me show you why that's wrong. But in order to get a similar effect as this with a wide lens, you're gonna need a lot of megapixels on your camera. So using a camera like an R5 or an Alpha 1 or an A7R4 would be very important in this case. So to prove the point of how lens compression works, what I did was I took two sets of six pictures. For the first set, I kept the same distance and I just swapped out my lenses. That's all I did. So I went from 16 millimeters to 24 to 35 to 50 to 85 and then to roughly 105. So to do this, I use two lenses, a 16 35 millimeter and a 85 millimeter. I also use my old A7R2 to crop in onto APS-C mode. Now, when we look at these pictures, you're gonna see that even though they're taken at the same distance and with many different focal lengths, and I crop in to get the same framing, that there's no difference in the compression. The background looks the same. And then if I were to switch over to the second set of photos where I kept the same framing, and essentially what I did is I took a picture at 16 mil, then I backed up, took another picture at 24 mil, then I backed up, took another picture at 35 and so on. You'll see that the background starts to shift. It's not the same compression all the way along. And that goes to show you that it's not actually the lens that's making the difference between your compression, but the distance between your camera lens and the subject. That is what you need to know. So then you're probably like, okay, why don't I just buy a 35 millimeter and an A7R4 and I'll be able to crop in because it's a 60 megapixel camera where I'll be able to go to 35 millimeter because it's a 35 millimeter lens and then I'll go to 50 millimeter and I'll still have a 30 megapixel photo. Then I'll go to 85 millimeters and it'll still be like a 20 megapixel photo. And then I can go to what 105 and it's about 11 megapixel photo, which is still as good as an A7S3. So yes, you could do that. But do you want to have a 35 millimeter taking your 105 millimeter photos when you have a 60 megapixel camera? Like why did you buy the 60 megapixel camera? Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you guys learned something today and I am looking to make more videos. I've been very sloppy and lazy for the past two, three, four, since I started this channel, honestly. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see more, comment on something you'd like to learn down below, subscribe and like this video. Helps me out a lot. Peace out.